them old dock fish, didn't we? Not a very big one. It's actually up in the stall rather than on the outside corners. I'd rather catch them on the outside corners, but every now and then they sneak up inside them stalls too. You know, one thing a lot of people uh, try to avoid, in my opinion, is the cable systems that you have around these docks, whether it's cables that are tying the bank to the, the dock to the bank, or the cables that are basically keeping the dock in place, it's unbelievable how much activity goes on around those cables. Fish will suspend because as, as those cables get older, they get, you know, plankton and, and algae on them. The bait fish come up and feed on them, and the bass just suspend right behind them. A bass is so, I mean, they're, they, they can get behind a cable and they feel like they're hiding from you. So, I mean, anytime you get around dock systems, don't just throw at the cables you can see visible up front, but if they've got tie-down cables, it's a great place to fish a jerkbait, especially in the spring when the fish are suspended, when they're just starting to move up, and then when they start garden fry, that's a good time to get after it again. Little bitty one. Little bitty guy. 